Hello everybody, welcome to how to install Windows 7 Enterprise version on VirtualBox for free. And yeah, it's legal. Uh, all you gotta do is go into a Microsoft Download Center page and download all those versions, uh, all the parts I mean. And once you do that you need to double click on the first part to extract the whole entire virtual hard disk file. This can take a pretty long time because it is extracting eight over eight gigs worth of space. Once you have extracted it, just open up VirtualBox and start creating a new guest OS like you normally do. I like to name mine something useful. Pick the 32-bit version. Uh, give yourself two gigs of RAM. Make it run smoothly. And here, choose the virtual hard disk that you have extracted, and then go through the prompts. Right-click, go into settings, and then you have to delete the SATA, the SATA, because it will get a blue screen if you do not. And it has to be an IED, so create a new hard disk and choose that again. And you will be good to go. Click OK. Click Start. And now you will have your Windows 7 running in a virtual machine. I'm going to log into the administrator account and the password is password1 with a capital P. Once you're logged in it's going to bug you about activating. You can activate it later as you will see me doing. Oh yeah and right now you cannot use the mouse. You have to use all keyboard. And by accident I hit enter on one of the links here opening up Internet Explorer by mistake and Windows 7 will update itself automatically as soon as I click the OK button here with my keyboard uh, it will prompt me to restart the virtual machine which I will it will try to install something but it fails I choose work network, you can choose home, it doesn't really matter. And right here it's telling me to restart because of updates, which I do. And I do that especially because I don't know how to close Internet Explorer <laughs> without the mouse. Alright, logging back in the administrator account. And it will bug you about activating again. You can skip that with the keyboard. Um, hit the OK button with the keyboard. Just hit tab and then uh, enter or space to select. So in order to get the mouse to work, you have to go and install the guest editions. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. And here you have to hit Alt tab to select in that window so that you can hit uh, install and you will have to do it again alt tab and enter to install once this is done you will have to restart so log into the administrator account you can see that my mouse is working, which makes things a lot easier. Decline that, hit OK. And I chose the IE8 version because it's a heck of a lot smaller for some reason. And you can easily upgrade it to Internet Explorer 9. Clicking that link on the desktop doesn't work for some reason, but if you just go 
into uh, Windows Update and click Check for Updates. You'll see uh, this error come up because you haven't activated it yet. You can just click Close. It won't do anything. Unselect all updates that you don't want. You could install these, but there really is no point. And then just select Internet Explorer 9 and select Go. And it will update it for you. You'll have to restart. Windows will do its thing. Let's log into the administrator account again. Activate it later. Click OK. And you will see that Internet Explorer 9 is installed. Now, you can install anything that you'd like, just like if you installed uh, Windows 7 normally. Right here, I'm just showing you that with Firefox as I just installed it and I'm going to install uh, Flash Player as well works just fine and to test it of course go to YouTube and I'm just going to play this really quickly sure the ignoring orange sounds good and it works BAM Now I'm turning the virtual machine off so that I can make a copy of the virtual hard drive so that when I activate it I won't have to re-extract because extracting takes so long. And I'm just going to name it unactivated. I'm doing this because once you activate, you'll only have three months with the activation. I don't know if you actually have to activate. I don't know if anything happens, if it just stops working or whatnot. But here I'm just going to show you. I'm going to activate it and just activate it online. And when it's finished, it'll say you'll have 90 days. To After those 90 days, I don't know what happens either. Uh, I have no idea if it becomes unusable. And right here, I'm just messing around, just deleting the other user and just testing to see if I can do these things, which you can. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time in my next tutorial. Bye.